It takes a lot of effort to write a correct professional email to parents regarding their child's work in your class. And sometimes it seems like I have to write the same email over and over. Well, there is help for this task from Gmail. And to start, we're going to go over to Settings, using the gear, choosing Settings. This time we're going to Labs. The lab we want is called Canned Response. We just want to click that, Enable. It says Email for the Truly Lazy. Love that. Okay, here's how it works. I have to send an email to a parent missing homework in keyboarding class. Okay, I'm going to get rid of everything here because I have already written this email. Next to the trash can is the little flippy triangle that gives you more options. Canned responses. I can insert a canned response. If I write a new one, I can save it. Or I can delete the ones that I've already written. In this case, I'm writing an email regarding some missing homework in my keyboarding class. So I will choose to insert the keyboarding homework canned message. And there it is. Dear parents of. And then I'll just write in the child's name. I'll either eliminate the word son or daughter. And there's the whole thing, including my signature. I just hit send. Whoops, I forgot to fix that son daughter. How's that? Now I can send. That undo doesn't last very long, so you have to be kind of alert. To make a canned message, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to act as if I'm going to send an email and come down here next to the trash can for more options, canned responses, and I'm going to write a new canned response. The new canned response needs a name. Experimental canned response. Okay. The canned response will not include the recipient or the subject, of course, but it will include the message. Dear parent of blank, You haven't sent me any canned messages lately. And I might come down here and do some formatting, like maybe even add a little emoticon. I'm mad about that. I haven't gotten any canned ones. OK, now I'm not going to hit send. I don't have a recipient yet. I don't even want to send this. But I would like to save it so that it'll be ready for next time. So being careful not to go to insert, I'm going to go to save the experimental canned message right there. See the grayed out word save. Now that's going to overwrite my saved canned response. Yes, I improved it. So yes, I want to write my new one. Okay, I'm done now. And the next time that I want to compose an email message, if I want to insert that canned response, I just go up to insert this time, experimental can. I gotta be clicked in the right thing. That's something important to remember. Insert the experimental canned response, and there we go.